Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be resetting a MAG324 set-top box. Now before we begin, uh, just a few things that you'll need to make sure that this process goes smoothly. Obviously the first one is your MAG324 box. Uh, you'll want that powered up and you'll want that connected to your TV with the TV switched on so you can see the screen. Obviously next you're going to need the remote for the configuration process. And last but definitely not least is you're going to need a paper clip with the uh, one of the, the ends basically bent open with a flat edge to press the reset button. Uh, don't use a pin or a needle because that will probably damage the uh, reset button. So once you've got everything ready, let's get going. Okay, so just before we begin the factory reset process, um, a couple of things to note uh, to be familiarised with your remote control. Uh, there's a few buttons we're going to be using when we do the config. Uh, the first one down here is the keyboard button. That's going to toggle the on-screen keyboard, so you're going to be using that button quite a bit. Uh, the home button is going to be basically used to exit out of various different config screens. And obviously these arrow buttons and the OK button, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you use the mag box quite a lot. So um, now we've got that out of the way, let's start doing the reset process. Okay, so the uh, reset process is a little bit fiddly, so if you can get your mag box on a surface or something there where you can easily um, get the paper clip into the reset hole as well as the power cable at the back, it will make life a lot easier because we have to do a little sort of fiddly job here. So the first thing you wanna do is pull the power cable out of the back of the mag box and then get the paper clip and put that into the hole at the side ready and then reinsert the power and then immediately press and hold the paper clip against the reset button and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on the flashing light at the front and as soon as it starts to blink faster we're going to let go that's it now and then press it again immediately and hold and then once your screen goes blue on your TV, that's the point where you know you can let go. Okay, now my screen has gone blue. So what I'm gonna do now is just wait. It takes about two minutes for the factory reset process to complete. So just let the box do its thing, uh, be patient, uh, but it will eventually reset. And once it's finished doing the factory reset, you'll reach the inner portal screen. 